Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dallas. Thank you so very much for being here in YouTube Boston. I see you guys online. I am going to turn my attention now to my next interview, which is with, which is with Dr. Nicholas Vogelzang. He's here about bringing information on managing prostate cancer during the pandemic. Dr. Nicholas, welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks very much for having me. All right. So you're a medical oncologist and you come very well qualified to talk about this topic of uh, prostate cancer, but how does it connect to the pandemic? Well, what's been happening uh, since the pandemic started uh, in March or early, late February, I guess, is, uh, you know, for the last, you know, eight months or so, we've seen a lot of people putting off their routine health care, uh, not, not getting mammograms, not getting colonoscopies, not getting PSA tests. Um, and we really want to make certain that they don't delay anymore. Um, and we need to remind men that the way to check your PSA, your prostate cancer is through the PSA test. Um, and enough of this already, right? It's time to get back to business and get your PSA tested. Uh, if you've never had it done, it's time to have it done. That's, uh, that's just the simple reality. If you've got prostate cancer and you've not been getting your uh, regular checkups with your doctor, you got to have your uh, doctor visits rescheduled. I've got people who've been sitting home sort of sheltering in place, which is all fine and good, uh, but uh, you got to go to see your doctor. you got to get a telemedicine visit, and you got to get back um, in the swing of things. So that's the idea behind this campaign. Dr. Nicholas, so... Is this kind of like women, like we get an annual mammogram or we get an annual uh, uh, visit with our uh, uh, GYN, that kind of visit they should, men should be doing it like this? This should be on their calendar? Exactly. I just recommend that for men, uh, you get a PSA every year at your birthday. It's that simple. Uh, regardless of whether you're having symptoms of your, uh, of your prostate, and those may be very simple. They may be having trouble with your urination. It may be that you're urinating more than once a night. It may be that you're having some ED uh, or other things like that, uh, but you need to have a check. Now, if you've already got prostate cancer, uh, you've got to follow it with your PSA number. Uh, and that is similar to having your uh, breast cancer oncologist monitor your breast cancer or if you've had colon cancer in the past, you've got to be monitored for your colon cancer. The PSA is your test, <laughs> excuse me, is your test for prostate cancer for the rest of your life, basically. And that's, that's your, your passport, if you will, to the prostate cancer world. It's pretty straightforward. What am, if, if, People, if men don't know the symptoms, what are some of the symptoms that they need to, and I think you mentioned them, but once again, what are the symptoms that they need to make sure they make an appointment or talk to their doctor on their next appointment? The, the symptoms of prostate cancer often are very minor. They're a little bit of urinary problem. You might have some leakage. You might have some uh, frequency or getting up at night to urinate more than once or twice. Uh, you might have uh, some erectile dysfunction. Uh, you might have some pain um, uh, down, down there, as they say. Um, one of my friends used to say, my nature just isn't what my nature used to be. Um, that sort of stuff. Um, so it's important to get to your uh, primary care physician or your urologist when those things start developing. Hopefully we won't find cancer, but if we do, the important thing is that we have many things we can now do for prostate cancer. Uh, and these drugs and these treatments, including surgery and radiation, hormones, we have many new things that we can do for prostate cancer. It's no longer something that is 
a terrible disease. We keep men alive for 15 or 20 years now with prostate cancer. So you need to be diagnosed early. You need to be diagnosed uh, by appropriate uh, with appropriate treatments. You can do extremely well. That's the message we're trying to get across. Well, that's a great message to get across. Uh, Dr. Nicholas, where can we go online and find out more information? You know, a lot of times people like to do stuff in private before they talk about it in public. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, uh, the website is zofigo.com. Uh, of course, the American Cancer Society. Uh, oh, there's all sorts of things online, uh, but we welcome any, uh, any uh, activity online that you can have. Uh, just, I want to thank you, Valor, for having me online, and we appreciate your time and effort this morning. I appreciate you wanting to help people to save their own lives because we have to play a part in our health and wellness. I know there's a lot of factors against us, but we have to be uh, um, a, a key player in saving our own lives. So I thank you, Dr. Nicholas, for the work that you do and for coming on the Valder Beebe Show. It's been my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Remember, it's an African-American man's disease as well as a Caucasian man's disease. So we've got to together, we got to be together in this fight. There's no discrimination. I believe that. Thank you so much, Dr. Nicholas. Be healthy and well. You bet. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.